That can't have been the boss fight, right? Even though the ultimate is really powerful. The ultimate does seem a bit too powerful. Although it takes, like, the entire level. Lyrium. Hunting? I... Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Honey! What the fuck? This is the eternal end. The prayer and the proclamation is true. The fuck? We are free again. What the fuck? I can hear it. What did you hear? The song of the stone. What is happening to me? What the Oh shit, okay. Primers and detonators. Okay, and so just FYI, basically dwarves are not supposed to be able to use magic in Dragon Age, so that's why that's a big deal. Um, combine primers and detonators to trigger detonations. So abilities apply a particular primer to a target. Each primer has a matching detonator. Use the correct combination to trigger a detonation to deal increased stagger damage in the area. Okay. So, now I have applies sundered which then combos with this and then I'm gonna do that it's like uh so <laughs> the funniest thing about this is uh <laughs> it's basically what they just added to um it's a pantheon I'm gonna die to this aren't I I have no healing. But yeah, the, the primers and detonators is essentially what was just added to um, Pantheon. The MMO. I have to go mage. Okay, there you go. Mage looks fun, Kieran. So I hope you have a great time. I'll, I'll be curious to hear. Hey, it's the first death. It's first death. Oh God, I hope it's been auto-saving. Okay, I was like, fuck. Okay, so let's try this again. This to that, I'm gonna do this. Heal myself. There we go. Now I'm healing. Oh, nice. Okay, we're doing better this time. I also just found out like through this combat that you can you can do multiple things at once, which is awesome. Like you can queue them all up. So if you really want to like train chain some things together, you can. Also, I just got a healing potion. Cool. Okay. Um, we're just gonna save all that. <laughs> That helps. Uh, 
so now I want to do slow and then I want to do that wait there we go on on this there and then is that like in order or is that all let's see and they're staggered Damn. <laughs> This is the leer the ghoul is back that we I thought we had killed. Shit, where'd it go? Got us from a distance. <laughs> Did I miss? Did I miss the stagger? I can't heal myself. I can slow. Oh, I can't heal myself. Oops. I was right at least about this not being the... The boss fight because... All of this is later. Oh shit, damn it. We're on the fire. Where'd it go? Good to go again. There we go. Let's do this. Um This is, is this on cooldown? Shit, okay, I need to wait. Hold on. Five more seconds. Thank you for the follow. Five more seconds, fuck. Okay. Do that, do this. Nice. Okay, now do... I don't have enough rage. Don't die now. Please don't die now. Shit. Shit. 18 seconds. I don't have anybody to heal. I'm basically just trying to run away until until uh, Harding can heal me again. <sighs> hang on, hang on, hang on. on 
Whew, there we go. Coming at range. You always get that that dagger. Oh shit. Not sure. Okay. But we should get back. We'll talk it through there. That was intense. <laughs> Oh, I didn't want to like have to redo it all. That was intense. Your pet thank you, thank you very much. Failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger's beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made Identical of lady. Okay. From Meridia from Skyrim. A bit, yeah, I can see it. I can see it too. Or hear it rather. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you. Yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's alright. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Here. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It's all just weird. Rook is baffled by Harding's new ability. Rook is optimistic about Harding's new ability or is wary. I'm going to be optimistic. I think it's a gift. Also, my cat just got here. It's a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange. But not in a bad way. I feel... connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. It's me. Some it's of us me. have it's what me. we call stone sense. She's scared. She doesn't feel understand. Caves, lyrium veins, and Her tails would hold on. I wasn't one of them. Just a sec, a bathroom break. Maybe but after this. the dagger unlocks something hidden. But but this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. Just make sure to aim. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go ahead with this one. Harding, you being here is never a problem. Oh, really? I don't know what I'd do if you weren't here, to be honest. That's so sweet. Thank you. I um, feel the same. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Oh, God. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. I will, Stu. Now I'm, now I'm going I'm to flirt harder. I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the dead <laughs> wolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost Love titans, this art. and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't seem great. Quest complete, the Singing Blade. The team returned to Solus's ritual site, hoping to find the Lyrium Dagger that Solus lost. 
They pried the ancient artifact away from the Darkspawn ghouls that were drawn to it, but touching the dagger has had a profound effect on Harding, seemingly rekindling a forgotten link between her and the stone. What this means for Harding remains to be seen. Awesome. Very, very cool. Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Oh, is my mouth actually moving as I talked? That was cool. And we're one step closer to becoming a reaper. Okay. First, let's Hello there. take care. Thank, Thank you for the follows. Redbeard Flynn. I hope uh, a wonderful day. Let's level. Okay. This one. And then I guess we're going to go here to Primer Duration and then to Bloody Advance. <laughs> oh, so this is my Primer. This is my first Primer, I guess. Which applies Sundered. Throw a fan of blades at this. You got the Impale near by enemies. Okay. Then I'll be going to Defy the Elements. Master Throw, Shield Toss. Now, can I be charged up? And then we become a Reaper. Perfect. I've never played a game in this series. Would you say it's more interpersonal drama or more lore and factions? So far, more lore. Factions haven't come into it much. But so far, it's it's mostly it's it feels more like a, a grand overarching story. So far, I am th rough. I will say three hours in because I spent it. I spent an hour, <laughs> spent an hour in character creator because the character creator is expansive as fuck. It's a, it's it's one of the better character creators I've seen. But that's not to say there's there's plenty of there are supposed to be like side stories as well for for each companion. Um. But so far, I haven't seen too much of it outside of the main story parts of it. Is this? Oh, this is worse. 145, 90 stagger. Attack my target deals 300% damage to the first time you use in the first encounter. And this is does just staggered enemies. Well, staggered actually doesn't happen that often. I think we'll just stick with mayhem for now. Also, I think, can we level up? Why do I still have something for character? Oh, do I have new gear? I have new gear, don't I? Not that. That. That's the new gear. Although I'm not going to be using it. Because it's all about the two-handed. All right, companions, I think, was it? Parting leveled up. Okay. So, oh shit, okay, so Adrenaline Rush. Adrenaline Rush is for me. What am I to attack with re renewed determination? This is the healing. Which was very, that came in clutch on that last fight too. Adrenaline Rush, when activated you gain 20% ultimate. This bonus applies only during combat. Mm, what is this one? Ability seismic shot. Harding lets loose a powerful bow shot, creating a midair shock wave that concusses enemy caught in the blast. Deals very high stagger and is likely to disrupt enemies. Also, it looks really cool. Shred. Applies sundered. Harding shreds her opponent's defenses with a decisive shot. Deals a high amount of stagger. And this upgrade increases the damage versus armor. It's they're tough decisions, honestly. There's a, there's a specific skill. I think this one, because the ultimate is so good. What does this do? Cooldown duration, negative 20%. Oh, and then there's this one. Wait, what does this do? Confidence boost. When triggered, when the first moments of entering combat, cooldown duration is reduced by 70%. Or when activated, your cooldowns are also reduced by 20 seconds. Damn, okay. Adrenaline Rush seems like a really powerful skill, and I think healing is going to be really power, really good, too. It's good. It's really good so far, Antonius. 
Uh, yeah. I think that's what I need. Healing. Did Nev level up too? No. I may end up taking Bolara and Harding, although that's double healing. Maybe I'll I'll change this skill. Instead of that, here, can I undo this? Refund. So instead of this, can I actually, no, I can't get rid of that. Okay. What does this one do? Applies weakened. What do you like about it? Mostly the combat so far. The combat has been really, really engaging. Uh, it's it's one of the, the better. It's very different. It's ac it's basically action combat, but I've really enjoyed the, the action combat part of this. But also how like I do feel there's more str strategy involved in how like these abilities that I'm picking right now. Oh, I can get time slow have been much more beneficial using them together and chaining them together and pausing mid fight than I expected them to be. So I've actually loved like they've got this interesting concoction of how they've made combat work for this game. And it's, it's really engaging and fun on um, the story so far has been really compelling. We got to murder a mayor. So that was cool. A mayor. OK, wait, we got to murder a mayor who is an absolute asshole. So that was fun, too. Yeah, time slow. I want to switch out time slow for the heal if I can. Yeah. And then for actually here, let's get the heal back. So I have two heals. I have time slow and I have a detonates of sundered and I can apply sundered with Harding. So that actually works really well. All right. Oh, what is that? Three meetings face to face under the sky. It's like the other clue that had something about meetings as well. So now I got to talk to Solas. Wait, actually, first, should we go see if companions Wait, have anything to say? That room wasn't there before, I don't think. Wait, what? Oh, this one. Wait, which room? That's not a room yet, obviously. Which room was it referring to? Up here? Okay, yeah, so this is going to be to meet. Neville Harding must have put my pack here. It makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Yeah, I was going to say, this isn't my, this wasn't my room before, right? Like, this changed. to rule the horror oh. is this got about them is watch. this because of my background yeah. my uh after i put you down the morn watch sent me away yep. with varick to stop the noble families from complaining you just voted thank you bb thank you for voting in the scuffed game awards left one blank <laughs> which one did you leave blank then after i put you down the morn watch sent me away with varick to stop the noble families from complaining I made the right call. The Morn Watch is supposed to protect the world from dangers outside the realms of the living. That's what I did. Even if it wasn't politically convenient. <laughs> it's against the rules. Why do I have a shaving mirror from Eric and his life lessons? I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look at it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. <laughs> you, you left 80s and 90s blank? Of course you did, BB. Uh, 
I don't know if I see a hero's face. But it's a face that's seen a lot. Got a few new scars. Some that show up in a mirror, some that don't. But Varric believed in me then. And he believes in me now. I can do this. Cool. Alright. Place keepsakes. Keep placing keepsakes. Canary face paint. The peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He was so impressed with the vitar that Canari wear to protect our faces. And the fireworks he saw at the Ravani Festival. I feel bad because I keep hiding mine. No idea my people were such accomplished alchemists. Ooh, I can say I don't follow the coon. Chrono Trigger, is that what you put, Stu? I won't say what I put. What the hell is that? You can't, you, you, at least to be fair, you can't expect BB to know 80s and 90s games. Um, see what this says. My people went to war with the whole world and then lost control of their own military. Hmm. Alchemy is all they've got left. Okay. Where's the... There's one more thing I gotta place. What is it? Oh, right here. Combat manual. Meditation upon the use of blades. Must have read this thing cover to cover a dozen times during weapons training. <laughs> so I guess it's... it's So you're putting in the things that, that make your character you, right? You're putting in all these different, your class, you're putting in your uh, your race pick, everything, like your background, all that stuff. Thank you so much for using your Prime. I really, really appreciate it. That was very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, King Caltrex. So was I a model? Hey, uh, Flynn, I have a Pantheon question. Ask away, what's your Pantheon question? I wasn't a model student. I wasn't a model student. If I hadn't gotten stuck with kitchen duty for breaking curfew so often, I might have read it even more. You pledged and can't find your license code. Um. Right. That's should better. have been emailed. Now, how do I connect to Solus? Sucks that it's not yet, but hopefully soon. And if, uh, did you, whatever pledge you got, I think now you should also get a buddy code as well. Because they moved it, so $50 codes also include a buddy code. I'm used to messing up things, so here I thought it was just human error. Same! <laughs> me too. I mess up all the damn time. I mean, 90% of my clips are me messing up, so. Okay, Egghead. Let's talk. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Shut up. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. You could not possibly be here to take advice from the one you called the Elven God of Lies. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you're gonna be insufferable about it. See, this is the reason nobody likes you. I led a rebellion for centuries that culminated in the creation of the Vale and the destruction of the Elven Empire. Okay, this is among the reasons nobody likes you. <laughs> My information was accurate. Now you realize that the danger is real. <laughs> I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Alcanan and get a name. <laughs> he looks a bit smug. He, yeah, <laughs> I mean, he kind of is. He's he's an elven god, Skyhawk. I don't know if I should get Metaphor or Veilguard. There, there, I mean, Metaphor is longer. I don't know much about Metaphor yet. I know it's been very well received, but Metaphor is like, what is it, like a hundred hours or something? Like, so it's, it's a much longer game. It's also turn-based, right? 
metaphor. So I think like you can help decide, BB, if you break it down into combat. So if you want more action based, then this metaphor is turn based. Metaphor is a very solid game. Yes, turn based. I've heard really good things about it. The next turn based game that I'm super like beyond excited for, though, is um, Expedition 33, especially when they re reveal their cast. Their cast is amazing. Um, I punch up. You should know. I stopped you, didn't I? You disrupted the ritual. Yeah, I did. Even though I'm nowhere near as powerful as you. Your plan is to tell me how powerful you aren't? <laughs> In the Morn Watch, I had to deal That's fair. <laughs> with dead nobles threatening all of Navarro with civil war. Our squad was overwhelmed, and we were supposed to retreat. So this but is my background. Instead. That's going to be different depending on what background you picked. How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that powerful opposition doesn't frighten me. I find a way to get the job done whatever it takes. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What it's very, like, world cinematic world set power. piece with that. The, rest is the lighting. Until they release it. I've never played Tactics, really hoping for a remaster of Final Fantasy Tactics. And hey, Jester, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I don't think I ever played Tactics either. I, my first Final Fantasy was Final Fantasy IX. Okay, what is the more first before anything? It didn't escape. It's bigger than what we have. Or how do we stop them? Then we stop them. Can we stop them? I'm, we're we're going to be brash and confident, I think. Then we shut down whatever they need to do to free the Blight. They will need to pierce the veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We got that. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Follow us. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? You think they want the elves back? I don't think the elven people will bend a knee to blighted murderous monsters. Agreed. Algernon and Gilanane care little for the elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt. Like the mayor. Their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. The mayor. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algernon and Gilanane. You want me to pick fights with tyrants and bullies? Sounds fun. I gave no orders. All I offer are suggestions. I'm on it. What else? The Veravas, the lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere. If you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet, but we've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes, I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. Y yeah, no shit, you asshole. You were a jerk. I thought they killed off Varric in like the first 10 seconds of the game, and I'd you shit myself. Oh, you have acquired new appearances for your equipment. Appearances can be modified in the wardrobe. I didn't want to change my equipment appearance. So I didn't like this. Uh, yeah, because I don't like the, the cloak part of it. I guess we'll go ahead and go with this for now. The the old the the throwback, and then once I get something else, we'll, we'll switch it up. I'm safe. Is there anything different for this? Oh my god! I can still I can use the the hat the. That's cool. Okay, so this is basically just what's it called? Um, transmog. 
I've changed my casual clothes to that, I think. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks good. I don't have anything for Ballara, no. Or Harding. I think they all have this, yeah. Yep. That is very high saturation on the red. It looks so wet. <laughs> it's supposed to be blood, right? But it looks so wet. All right, talk to Ver. Ooh, what is this? Oh, enter decoration mode so you can decorate. Not that, wait. I'm assuming I don't have... Oh, you can like change the stuff, like where things are. Okay, that's cool. Looks like paint, yep. <laughs> it's a throwback um, armor to Dragon Age Origins with their, their bloody red dragon. And part of like, you got it as a bonus for pre-ordering, which I was happy that that's like all they did for pre-order. Like there was no head start. There was none of that. It was just no day one DLC. You just got uh, the armor. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard. It's bad, Eric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing. The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? You stopped an entire undead rebellion with less than a dozen Morn Watchers. Just needed a bolder approach than Watchers usually take. They've, and they've no brought a lot of the you background in. Ticked off a bunch of snooty Navarans, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen <laughs> with a plan that no one expects on the best day of his life Solus wouldn't see you coming Rook and don't worry I'll still be here to talk if you need me Okay, I gotta tell him about Solus, right? There is something Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? <laughs> He's an asshole. Your old friend is kind of an asshole, Farrick. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly on the wall while the two of you get into it. Solus fought a rebellion against Elgernon and Gilanane. He didn't want to be a god. But he's also a lot older and more powerful than any of us. He looks at us like we're toddlers. Fair. So how do I deal with him? Well, act like you're as smart as he is, and he'll be insufferable. Show him you respect his age and experience, and he'll remind you he's just a man. Honestly, pick whichever of those pisses you off less. <laughs> he also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. Hmm. Um, about to meet his crossing. Demeter's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You left him to fend for himself. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out, and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. That's fair. One more. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. 
It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Harding got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. All right. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. I'm so fucking glad hey, he didn't die. One last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. All right. Consult with the team. Okay, it says, well, I mean, we're probably gonna talk to both. Workshop. The caretaker's workshop. Upgrading your equipment at the caretaker's workshop will increase an item's statistics. Finding another version of an existing item or purchasing an item from a merchant will increase an item statistics while unlocking new properties. Pursue both paths to upgrade your equipment to its full potential. Collecting mementos out in the world will let you upgrade the caretaker's workshop. Upgrading it will increase the number of enchantments on offer and increase the power level of all weapons you can find or purchase while adventuring. Oh, that's cool. Uh, let's try and do, can I level up? Oh, I, I, so it's all the materials I've been collecting. Holy shit, that's a, that's a big upgrade too. It goes from 87, 21 damage upgrade and 10 stagger. Fuck yeah. Okay. So that's been upgraded. Can I upgrade? I can upgrade Bolara's gear too. Let's see. Physical damage stagger storm plus one. Do that. Harding. Hell yes. Okay. I noticed like none of the armor looks like it can upgrade though. I can upgrade a shield. None of the armor seems upgradable. Oh, because I need a different type of material that I haven't gotten yet. All right, let's go talk to Nev. Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for leads. You want allies to go after the gods. I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Valara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any <laughs> assassin. Their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Okay. You think a trained killer will like us? What's not to love? The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. This is great. Thanks, Nev. It's what I'm here for. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. To Vinter authority... Won't help and can't be trusted, which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. All right, sounds good. These people sound great. I mean, if they're anything like you. No one's as good as they seem. But they try. 
So we talked to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Minrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood either. If Valar is ready for us. Yeah. Should check how things are going. It's basically like just go collect companions, I think, right now. From the different factions. Very Dragon Age. Here, well, let's go talk to... So the lights are on, which means there's conversation to be had. Let's go talk to Harding. Toldar, it's a tuno. Vedim oh, is she trying Gar. magic? Velos Atreidum. But Velos Atreidum is, is nothing like Isatunal. Isatunal. I remember. After you touched the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, Isatunal. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. This is like such a shitty time to say that. That's just no, no. And this is a dick thing to do. OK, am I interrupting? You're busy. I, I shouldn't interrupt. No, no, wait, wait, sorry. Please stay. We can talk about the stone, about Isatunal. Maybe explaining it to someone else will help get my thoughts in order. So what is it? What does it mean? Isatunal is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of, of being. It means I am here. But no, not, not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> is the tunnel is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time, all spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. This isn't helping. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> What's important is that you're happy. Happy? Happy's not it. Whole. Right, maybe. I'm certain Isatunal describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? Hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't expect you to have an answer. Th thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. I'm just <laughs> so awkwardly walking away and still got the approval. That works. <laughs> All right. So now we need to go to the Alluvian because I guess we're going to get to, I wonder if we get to pick uh, which place we go first. And if it will have almost there. I just have to shit. Sorry. Can I help? No, no, I got it. Mostly. Mirrors are funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality no matter what you try. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. Oh, cool. There you have it. <gasps> what is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the fear of us. Freedom of ways. I wonder... I would never say that Morgan is wrong. Never. If that is the Fade on the other side, won't it be dangerous? As the Fade often is. More dangerous than elven gods who wield the Blight as a weapon. Point Maybe. 
Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike. And the it fuck? Is not. <laughs> okay. Um. I've had enough surprises today, Spirit. Tread carefully. The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Oh, the dread will. Oh, okay. A new journey through there. I will wait. Okay. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not, but we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more sad. The two aren't exclusive, that's fair. Just because something's sad doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. I can think of an example or two that proves that. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on. Part three, Awakening. I wonder how many parts there are in the game. Okay, uh, change party. I want to take Valara and Harding. Uh, and yeah, those skills are good. Confirm. So back into the fade we go. Red, your face paint looks like Harding Freckles, or was that the intended effect? It was not. So I'm I'm a low budget version of a cosplay from Dragon Age 2, low riser called Hawk. Um, if you look H, it's in the the title of the stream. But this is my best attempt at 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 Hawk. Um, sure, I knew that. Oh, the crossroads, right? Of course. <laughs> the Evanurus hunger for the crossroads, their influence is spreading. Light, death, madness. They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. I forgot, Dayhawk. Uh, 